We now move to Okwama itself, where we have our correspondent, uh, that's Bennett Akede, who's been there uh, for the time being, just the head of the town hall meeting. Bennett, good morning. Good to have you on the news this morning. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, very well, Mazino. Thank you for having me. Good. So, Bernard, I'd like to ask, how exactly are the people embracing the efforts being put together by New Central to have their uh, word heard by the uh, greater population of people out there? Um, so, well, at the moment, right now, we're not in uh, uh, Okoma community. We're going to take a speedboat from uh, the water, uh, water side behind me there, from the waterfront. It will take us about 30 minutes uh, via speedboat to Okwama community. But answering your question like, uh, that you just asked, yesterday they were quite, quite enthusiastic when they saw us. And then when the um, MD, uh, just as you saw in that report, spoke to them, um, there was this feeling of uh, some kind of satisfaction, um, like you know, some relief will eventually come. Uh, they were able to take us around, and then they showed us what they've been going through that's the people of Okoma community. And so they're looking forward to the town hall meeting today, basically. Um, they do hope, and we also do hope, that this town hall meeting, like the other ones in the past, will be able to spread the word far and wide as to what exactly may have happened in that community and uh, what the people have been going through and exactly what their needs are at the moment. Needs in terms of physical materials, needs in terms of justice, um, needs in terms of um, wanting the government, government officials, uh, the appropriate officials, to hear what they are passing through and to pay attention to their cries. So again, to answer your question, yes, they are enthusiastic that we are coming. Um, they are happy that eventually somebody is going to amplify their voices and they are optimistic that after the town hall, uh, town hall meeting that there eventually will be some response from the appropriate quarters. Okay, Ben. Uh, so we also hear that some of the villagers, the returnees, are very reluctant to go to the IDP camp that has been set up for them in Ewu. Exactly how far is Ewu from Okwama itself? That's one. And secondly, how many people have actually taken that opportunity to move to the IDP camp? Okay, I think I'll start from the second question. I'm not sure anybody has um, taken to the IDP camp uh, at the moment. Uh, coming to uh, the waterfront here, we passed the IDP camp. Now, from the IDP camp down here, it's almost 15 minutes by road, and then you get to the water, and with the speedboat, it's 30 minutes, depending on the water current, straight by speedboat, again, to Okoma community. So give or take, we're talking 45 minutes at least. 45 minutes so you can tell you can understand why the people are reluctant to go there and again of course there's the connection naturally that human beings have um, to their ancestral homeland so they don't want to go away from their homeland because that's where they were born that's where they live that's where they grew up that's where they have their farmlands that's where they have their businesses um, they are hoping that something will be done in Okoma community so that they can again call their ancestral home home as a matter of fact, as we speak now, the only building that was standing there as of yesterday was the church building. Every other thing has been raised down and even burnt at some point. So telling them to move away from there, um, take speedboats that would take about 30 minutes, depending on the water current, and then on getting here, take another 15 minutes by road to um, an IDP camp that is not in the community that they've known from time. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's quite saddening for them, and uh, these is one of the things that they are asking the government to take a look into again and reconsider so that they don't have to be completely or even temporarily, temporarily detached from their ancestral home. Well, thank you very much, Ben Adakede. We're looking forward to 11 o'clock when you guys will be live so that we can have uh, well direct um, uh, information from the people themselves. Let's hear them, as you say, their words amplified for the rest of the nation to hear. Thank you very much, Ben Adakede.